Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you the daily Apple report for Friday, December 9th, 2022. Let's take a look at the charts. This is the big picture. By the way, before I start, please click like if you haven't already uh, and also subscribe if you haven't already. So this is kind of a big picture daily chart going back about a year. 148 and a quarter is a descending two-thirds speed line that is projected off that August high, taking into account the October low. And it is our trend-defining resistance, uh, I'm going to call it mid-term, 148 and a quarter. We've tested it repeatedly over the last month or so, able to contain buying through December and below which we can fall into the 120s over the next month or two by the end of January. And so this is sort of the big picture here. Yeah, I'm just showing 134.37 as a reference. I don't consider it significant support, but this is the dynamic. Below 148.25, we can fall off to 123.70 by the end of January or sooner. That sooner would come, in my opinion, if we were to close today below 138.70. Let's take a look at 138.70. I'm actually going to move there with this chart here. Uh, it's kind of a blown up daily chart. I don't know if we'll see that today, but we could. Holding below 143.32, this is a level I almost called session containment. Able to contain daily buying pressures and below which selling pressures can continue building today and we can fall off, being a Friday and all, to 138.70 on an intraday basis. This channel bottom can contain selling into the middle, possibly later part of next week. And from here, we can turn back up to that 148 and a quarter long term speed line. But if we do settle today below 138.70, and it is essentially considered an eventuality because of the longer term scope of 148 and a quarter, that speed line coming down, closing below 138.70. We could within two to three weeks, perhaps. I'd say by the middle of January anyway, 123.70 in reach. That is long-term support for Apple, able to contain selling well into next year. 123.70, probably more uh, properly shown on this weekly chart here. The same formation, 123.74 all week, backed up by a rising two-thirds speed line projected off that March 2020 COVID low at 118.87. This area, 118.87 to 123.74 in reach by the end of January, below 148 and a quarter over the next three to five weeks if we settle today below 138.70. And this area able to absorb selling not only through Q1, but po quite possibly well into 2023. Now for the upside, if we happen to uh, push or open today above 143.32, we could test 148 and a quarter by the closing bell, able to contain buying into January trade. But if we close above 148 and a quarter, a couple things I want to say about it. For you swing traders, three to five days, one to two weeks, we would have a pretty clear 157.52 objective where we could also top out uh, into January trade. As I've been saying, yes, we have a meaningful buy signal above 148 and a quarter, but in terms of anticipating longer term follow, longer term follow through buying well into Q1, that would become clearly uh, uh, presented if we were to settle above 157.52. So the way I've been framing it, we're heavy into January below 148 and a quarter, allowing 123.70 by the end of January. And inversely, we are bullish into January with a settlement above 157.52, then anticipating within a month or two of that 180.51. Inside the 148 and a quarter, 157.52 area is a very well-defined no man's land of long-term trend identification, but plenty of near-term opportunity between those two points. I think that that pretty much rounds it out. Please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a great deal. I'll be back Sunday afternoon with Monday's Daily Apple Report, and you have a great weekend.